Okay, Reptiles here, guys. I hope y'all having a good day. This is the unboxing I was talking about yesterday. Uh, we're about to do this, and I hope y'all are all going to tune in and see it all when I, once it's over with. Uh, y'all can just leave your questions and comments below and hit that li hit that like button for me. And let's just uh, let's just have fun and do this. This is the first, I think, uh, unboxing I did live, oh, not live, but uh, a video of, where I do on a full plant video. Um, hope y'all are ready. Let's see what we got. I'm going to start with. I got my 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 breeder and mentor hooked me up with some great some a great deals off some of these. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with them yet, but I couldn't resist the offer. I couldn't turn it down. It was such a great deal. So I got a bunch of uh, I got some simple stuff. Uh, which I'm going to show you. This is the females in one bag right here. As soon as I can get it open, it's a pain. Oh, uh, let's see. He's a good. I love it because he's always makes sure. I hope I, uh, I could get bit. FYI, just letting y'all know that it's a possibility. I hope I don't. Awesome, awesome. So we got fire female. Another fire. Looks like she's going to be in a shed. A little bee. Everybody can see. Oh, what else? Okay. What is this? Uh, male P. Male P. Hmm. Let's just look. Can't really read the writing. We're going to try to keep them separate. So. I don't want to get them confused. Already, I don't. If they're already sexed, I like the fact they're already sexed, and I don't have to worry about it. Oh, looky here! What do we got? We got some lovely stuff right here, which is a male. And it's a bee, and it looks like a yellow. Uh, is it a yellow belly? Yeah, a bee spider. A yellow belly. Okay, so yeah, so what's so what you got? There's this. There's the. See it? A little spider, little bitty booger. Got your little bee, and we got your yellow belly. I don't even have yellow belly right now in my collection, so. It would be good to use him later in some of maybe one of my three jeans. Next up, um, what we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. What is this? Firefly Leopard Extreme. I don't know if I want to open that one yet. I think there was another one here. Yes, right here. You see them? Oh, it's hot in this room. Woo! 
It's like 85, 85 to 90 degrees in my room, in my snake room, all the time. Literally sweating. What we got? I see. Smells. Oh, super pastels. Oh, look, that looks mean. Oh, so beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Look, one's in shed. Was shedding. But look at those super pastels. Look at how gorgeous they are. Look at that yellow. Oh my god, they're so gorgeous. I'll have to bait I'll have to put this one in some water. Three, six, seven. Take a close up shot. Come and see this pastel. Come look at these beautiful yellow pastels. They're all they are gorgeous. Mm -hmm. That one's in shed. I just gotta get that shed off of it. These bags are a pain. Thank God I haven't gotten bit yet, but we're not done. It can still happen. What we got here is a firefly, a leopard, and a and my extreme. Come here. Oh yeah. This is the firefly right here. And this is the leopard. I, this, I really need, I don't have leopard in my collection now, uh, so that's why I wanted this one. And this one right here is a super pastel, which he's bought up, but it's a super pastel extreme. So I'm really happy with getting this guy. I can't wait to actually grow him up some and get him breeding because I'm going to make some, uh, the, extreme, the extreme stuff isn't really popular just yet, but they are really awesome. Um, I got a fire, I got an extreme fire pinstripe female, so I haven't decided what I want to breed him with yet, but I'm thinking about definitely breeding him with my lemon blast because we're thinking she's got extreme in her, and so we're going to see if we can prove that out that way. And here they are. For, so we're going to, you know how to press pause on it? You see what press pause is? What's up guys, we're back. Uh, I had to put the little ones away, uh, but I got these three right here. Um, three, they're adults. So we're gonna open them up and y'all, let's hope I don't get bit again. Uh, let's start with, I think this is a... I'm trying to say the best for last, but I mean, to me, they're all awesome. Oh Lord, big girl. She's a big girl. Hope I don't get bit. Oh God, oh, big girl. Oh, oh, she don't like being touched. Uh, this is a super pastel adult female that I will be breeding this season. Very beautiful. Uh, I'll just put her here for now. We're going to move her into a rack in just a little bit. All right, next. Okay. I'll save that one for last. Let's do this one. Uh, another big one. Here, Casey. I got my sister-in-law here helping me out. Got my nephew on video. Just give them a shout out. This is Casey. That's Jordan behind the screen. 
helping us out today. Of my love, Chris is at work. This is gorgeous. And it's heavy. Oh, she is huge. Guys, I hope I don't get bit, but if I do, it'll be well worth it. It's like sticking your hand into a bag and you just don't know what's going to happen. But look at this. I'm going to do this slowly. Check this out. Check this girl out. She's going to make some awesome babies. This is a killer bee. There's her head. Check her out. You want to put it right there? Oh boy. Here, grab this so I can grab this one. Careful. It's heavy. All right. Last but definitely not least, what got me started actually getting, ended up getting all these snakes was this one snake. Um, I was wanting more females, but I was really wanting a, a het pod male. And so... I asked my breeder if he had something for me. He said, and uh, I wanted an albino because I have an albino female who I want to breed, but I don't want, but I want albino babies. So I got lucky, and hopefully I'll stay lucky and not get bit yet. And he hooked me up with this beautiful boy. Look at him. Not only is he albino, but he's a hundred percent het for pod. So we're going to end up having some albino het pods and some albino pods because I actually have two females. We talked about this in other videos, but I have two females that are in my rack over here that are sixty-six percent het, double het for albino pod. So they, so with breeding the, him to them, I can produce. Some albino pods and some regular pods. Just I just gotta if the odd the odd gods you would say are with me, that's what we'll end up producing. But you can see that this guy right here is my powerhouse for uh, albino pods this year, and I can't wait to start breeding him. First, getting him acclimated, eating, and then breeding him because you can tell he's already thick and fat and probably ready to go right now. But as you know, it was a he had a long 24-hour trip, and I want to get him acclimated and get him good to go. And then we will go, go from there, and I'll be posting videos when he's breeding with, with the girl I have and with the two other females I have. And I know that everybody will get to enjoy the excitement. I already got people lined up wanting albino pods and wanting pod snakes from me. So we'll just have to see where it goes from there. I hope everybody has a great day. ZTK Reptiles out.